So today the Lord gave me another prophetic word regarding September, which is next month. But the word gets so much deeper. So I'm going to just need God just need y'all to take heed. So God literally just sat me down. I just felt this tug in my heart to sit down and talk with the Lord. And I'm glad I did. So I typed everything in my computer. When I asked God if it was anything he wanted me to know or receive, he said, new moon, China. God said they have unspeakable plans preparing to destroy nations in the United States, which will lead up to the famines and following disasters I have prophesied to you. So I go look up new moon. It say September 2nd. So I asked God, I say, Lord, you mean September 2nd this year, 2024? He said that is when the worldwide famine will begin to release. He said their agenda is to bring nations against each other and distract us from the things of his coming. And then he said, look up new moon in the Bible. And y'all just sit back for this revelation. He told me to start in verse 2 in Amos chapter 8, which says, The time is right for my people. I will spare them no longer. Now, let me get into this revelation. Now, y'all, before I even continue to read the scripture God gave me concerning this, let me just tell y'all how I asked God. I said, God, I said, is them in their plan or is it your wrath upon the earth? He said both. Their famine is to distract you from the evil going on while my wrath will appear in the midst of it for the wicked deeds of the nation. They will know that I am the sovereign Lord. And he just left it at that. Now, let me just explain and break down what God means by both their famine and his famine. Y'all. Now, I told y'all he told me to look up new moon in the Bible. This is the scripture I got. It says, hear this. You who trample the needy and do away with the poor people of the land. God said, this is what the people say. When will the new moon be over that we may sell grain? It says that we may market wheat, skipping on the measure, boosting the price and cheating with dishonest scales. What do that sound like? Now, back then, they used to market grain. That was their profit. That was their money. Now we have markets. We have grocery stores. The new traditional ways of trading, marketing, buying, all that. Now you see how it says skimping on the measure, boosting a price, and cheating with dishonest scales. God is talking about the inflation. We've seen how everything has gone up, but ain't nobody getting no more money to afford everything that has went up. And that's all part of their plan. And God even said in the next verse that the Lord has sworn by himself, the pride of Jacob, I would never forget anything they have done. And he's referring to how this world is doing us. But this famine that they are about to spread is part of a way deeper agenda. For one, there's going to be many people that's without in this famine. But the ones that do have what they need, there's going to be a lot of violence and a lot of people coming up against each other because ain't nobody going to have what they need. So it's going to be a lot of every man for they self when this stuff hit the fan. But that is not the spotlight of this word. Now, God is not a man that he should lie, nor will he contradict his word. In a previous prophecy, God said that when disaster hit, people are not going to be able to find him. Now, y'all, let me read y'all the scripture that aligns with the new moon famine that says just that. Now, mind you, before I even read it, this famine is only the beginning of the destruction that's about to hit. While the world is bringing their worldly famine, God is bringing his famine along with destruction. Verse 11 in the book of Amos chapter 8 says, The days are coming, declares the sovereign Lord, when I will send a famine through the land, not a famine of food or a thirst for water, but a famine of hearing the words of the Lord. God said, people will stagger from sea to sea and wander from north to east, searching for the word of the Lord, but they will not find it. God says, in that day, the lovely young women and strong young men will faint because of thirst. Now, let me make another clip elaborating what that means. Stay with me, y'all. Now, this is why God is saying, get your houses in order. Y'all see, God said in the Bible, the days are coming where I will send famine throughout the land, but not a famine of food or water. God is saying, when all this stuff hit, he's giving out these words now and nobody is taking heed. God said people is going to be calling and looking for him when all this destruction come, but he's not going to be nowhere to be found because y'all not taking heed to the words he's giving y'all now. God said destruction is going to hit the earth and people are not going to be able to find him. Now is the time to be searching for the Lord. Now is the time to be getting your houses in order. But it's like now is the time these words is going over people head and God say this is not the time for that. Mind y'all this new moon stuff is happening September 2nd. That means by next month this famine that is released in the world God is going to be bringing his spiritual famine. Meaning the ones who are not in contact and touch and communion with God being obedient to him now. God saying that destruction going to be too loud for you to hear him then. Get in touch with God while you got time. I'm going to just leave it.